Fire in the hole. For Ted Nugent, gun control is putting the second bullet in the One same down. hole as the first. Two down. A lot of people look at the tragedy at Sandy Hook and they say something's got to be done. And they Agreed. point, Something and they point to, to the weapons that were used as no, the it, cause. It's not the weapons. It has, the weapons have nothing to do with it. These we again, these weapons are in every pickup truck in Texas. The famed platinum selling rocker is passionate about his music, his family, and his firearms. Nugent is fiercely protective of the rights of law abiding gun owners, and he's invited us to his 300 acre ranch in Waco, Texas, to explain why. I'll give you some real eye candy in a second here. We see oryx, wild turkey, and black buck antelope, all fair game during hunting season. Like tens of millions of Americans, Nugent grew up hunting with his dad and brothers. Guns are a family tradition he has avidly passed on to his wife and kids. If somebody close to you were killed by a gunman, would your views on guns change? Absolutely not. No, I would never turn against this wonderful tool that brings me self-defense capabilities and brings me great joy in competition and marksmanship training. Now, Deb, you climb up this platform. I'm trying to understand the nature of the hunt. But when I get up here, I'm not kidding you, I do 79 concerts, and I get up here, I strap myself in, I take a deep breath, and I sit here for six hours. So it's meditative to you? Absolute meditation. Have you ever tried yoga? I think this is the supreme yoga. <laughs> All right, fire in the hole. Nugent's passion for guns and unyielding belief in the Second Amendment right to bear arms has transformed Nugent into the sometimes fanatical face of the National Rifle Association. Boy, you are a city girl. I'm, I'm such you a You stand kind of like you're golfing. All right. You squeeze that trigger. Jeez. As he teaches me gun safety, Nugent repeatedly emphasizes that gun violence is caused by criminals, the mentally ill, and a justice system that paroles felons too soon. He believes limiting guns and ammunition will not stop tragedies like the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. The argument that was made is that he was allowed to kill as many people as he did because it had multiple bullets and he was able to just keep firing. Deb, the rate of fire in all these mass shootings, it's not a matter of bullets or firepower. A quail gun in the wrong hands is as deadly as this gun. People have got to come to that reality. The ability to defend his family is something he takes very, very seriously. When I'm being assaulted at my home, I and I alone, by any consideration whatsoever, will determine how many bullets I need to protect my family. Nugent has been a sheriff's deputy for 30 years and carries a concealed Glock at all times. So I want you and I to solve this problem of gun violence. There is no gun violence. There is criminal violence and they use an assortment of tools. Let's talk about background checks. I like background checks. Yes, but not at gun shows or with private sales. A lot of people in law enforcement have to take a psychological exam before they're allowed to carry. Well, so why not ordinary citizens? I wrote Wango Tango when I carry a gun. Wango, Nugent sticks to his guns literally. For him, the Second Amendment is non-negotiable. America, my name's Ted Nugent, and these are all legal guns, and I'm going to see that they remain legal because they're all good.